Hey, we're Stephen and Jess, and this is our little baby Hunter. We are lucky enough to call the beautiful state of Western Australia our home, and we are so excited to holiday here this year. Though we have spent the past few years slowly checking off our WA bucket list, we now have the opportunity to revisit some of our favourite spots to share the beauty of our home with little Hunter, and being able to see Australia through her eyes will make the adventures all the more special. There's a lot of ground to cover as Western Australia is the biggest state, which means we can spend an entire lifetime crafting new memories and experiences. From exploring beaches covered in shells, lakes as pink as marshmallows, and beaches as white as snow that squeak like little mice. <laughs> can you hear the squeaking? We can't wait to count stars and find constellations in the outback, go for hikes through Karajini, cool off in the natural spring waters, and end the night camping. Hunter definitely needs to take a selfie with the world's happiest animal, the quokka on Rottnest Island. And though she was too small to go swimming with the seals, she would definitely have to come share the beach with manta rays and dolphins, and when she's nice and brave, to come take a dip with the gigantic humpback whales and the calm natured whale sharks. We're still figuring out if this one is adventurous like her parents. She did take a walk high above the sky, but is she ready to slide down the sand dunes or abseil at Calbarry? We could always have a family stroll where the waves meet, or take a look through nature's window, wash the day off in a natural hot spring, or even learn to surf at Wave Rock. And we are kicking off this year exploring Australia's southwest. Welcome to one of our favourite spots here in WA. We've just arrived in the southwest in a little area called Yelling Up, and I feel like this is one of our favourite places to come. And we've technically been here twice with Hunter. Once when she was in my belly, and the second time when she was only two months old. And she was basically a little blobby who slept all the time. So I'm so excited now that she's seven months old, and we can finally show her one of our favourite spots. So even though Hunter was rugged up and it was so chilly, we are now back. Hunter is seven months old. It is now summertime and we're so excited to show her down south through her little eyes. But we've just driven three hours down south from Perth and we're staying at a spot called Smith's Beast Resort and it's right on the dunes here. Look at that epic sunset we just got greeting us as we arrived. Ah, smells so good. Some Margaret River roasted beans. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Yelling Up. What's the plan? I was thinking Hunter has never met a kangaroo before. So, I think today is the day. Hey, you need to be like initiated into the Aussie club and you have to hang out with some kangaroos. Just Hunter, <laughs> kangaroo <laughs> They're just putting them down for their nap so they sleep in these little sacks. That's so cool. I know. <laughs> Bucket of food, but it's not for you, okay? So our goal today was for baby Hunter to see a kangaroo, and she didn't only just see a kangaroo, she got to see a baby kangaroo. They had a couple of orphans here that they were looking after. We even got to see them being fed, huh? What did you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> this is like gonna be her first time seeing so many farm animals. I just realized the only animal I think she's seen is a dog. Hunter, this is a horse, you ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why is he eating my snack? <laughs> hey, Baba. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
so cute. Hi. Her little inquisitive <laughs> face is so cute. <laughs> Is he being silly? Is he a little bit of a cutie pie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know oh, the alpaca is her favourite. Is he a cutie? <laughs> Sorry, little baby girl just had her little nap. After way too much excitement at the farm. And now we're going to go check out the hotel pool. Do you want to come in the pool? Come for a dip? Room. We are thinking a picnic dinner on the beach for sunset. So we're currently waiting for the sunset to happen, but we thought we'd actually show you where we are staying. So we're staying at Smith's Beach Resort and it is right on Smith's Beach. So right here is the sand dunes. Like if you walk across over on the other side, the beach is right there. So our room has this really nice outdoor balcony and it even comes with its own barbecue. And then in here, it's actually a two story. So this is the top story. So we've got our little living room. Hey, Baba. <laughs> I'm just currently playing with all the little toys. But this is a little living room. Downstairs is the bathroom and the bedroom. <laughs> Good girl, you're so close. Come on. Oh, come, on come get it. Yeah. <laughs> We're currently trying to teach Hunter to crawl, and uh, the one thing that makes her do it is if there's ever a remote around, <gasps> she goes for it. Come on. Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the sun is now finally setting and it's times like these where you realise I cannot believe we get to call this home. Like three hours south where we live and we can come to places like this it is so beautiful this is also a really cool spot to see the resort from here and you can really see how they've just built it just in the middle of the dunes it's just the resort and that's it she's totally spotted her reflection in the car window all right, Hunter, we've decided to take Hunter to one of our favorite spots down here. It's called Nature Spa, and you'll see why it's called Nature Spa in a minute. <laughs> so technically, Hunter has been to this spot before, but she was in my belly. So we're on our way back home today, but before we go home, we've come to a place that we've always wanted to come and have breakfast at. It's called Mill Up Farmhouse, and uh, yeah. You can tell why it's called a farmhouse. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a lot of chickens, isn't there, Hunter? <laughs> I kid you guys not, when we've tried to come here twice before and they've been completely booked up. And I don't think they're that old as well, so I'm so glad we could finally get a spot to have breakfast here because all of you guys that have stayed here said you need to have breakfast here. Alrighty, what are we thinking? Do you have pancakes? I've heard the pancakes are pretty good. Oh my gosh, these are winner twos. <laughs> Where's my pancakes? Where's my pancakes? Can you try some juice? Alright, we got some ginger green apple juice. What do you think? Oh! <laughs> What do you think of ginger? This is Dad's favourite flavour. When was the last time we did one of these? I know. Hunter, you need a cheers with us too. Except I feel like you'd spill it everywhere. <laughs> cheers, Baba. 
when you distract her with the scrambled eggs, so mum gets the whole stack of pancakes. What even is that? That is nice. <laughs> All right, Hunter is into the eggs. Hunter, we're meant to be acting classy. <laughs> 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 um, her friend is totally sitting here ready for it. <laughs> to be honest, that's a smart doggy. All right, dig in, Hunter. Cheers. Oh my gosh. The orange and poppy seed flavor. They look so good. They are. Amazing seed. Wow. What's the puppy doing? Baby Hunter's first time on a swing. Are we ready? Alright, swing it back. Hold on, Hunter. Literal same expression <laughs> as if she wasn't on a swing. Ready? <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Can I get a wee? So as summer holidays end, we all need something to look forward to. There's never been a better time to plan your next holiday right here in Australia. 